Sasha, welcome to Acapulco. First of all, what are your first impressions of this beachside tournament and what made you decide to take on this event this year? Well, it's unbelievable uh, nice here. I mean, you, you have the beach right in front of us. Uh, it's, it's something very special, I think, for, for all of us players. You know, you can kind of practice and then in between practice, you kind of go to the beach, enjoy it a little bit and uh, really enjoy the time off the court. And uh, it's very special for us. And uh, unfortunately, I had to pull out last year, but definitely this year I didn't want to miss it. Um, how appealing is the event now? Obviously, a few years ago, it switched to a, a hard court from, mm -hmm. from a clay court. It obviously provides better sort of build up towards Indian Wells and Miami, doesn't it? Yeah, it's great. I mean, uh, before Indian Wells and Miami, you want to play on a hard court. They, they did the exact same surface here, which is great as well. So it, it really plays similar. Uh, so it gives you the, be the, great, the best preparation you can have for, for two Master Series coming up. But obviously, this is not a small tournament itself, and you want to do well here. And obviously for a 500 tournament, it's a very impressive draw. I think we've got six of the top 10 players as well. It's been a bit of a daunting draw, but a nice sort of marker as well because we build up to these big tournaments, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's great. You get great competition here. You get great matches. Uh, definitely, I think, you know, the tournament will be very happy with the draw they have right now. Um, as you said, six out of the top 10 players are here. So um, it's going to be a fun week, hopefully. How do you feel your form is so far in 2018? Then obviously a good Davis Cup, but a little bit of inconsistency, let's say, outside of that. I mean, how difficult is it to find your momentum straight away at the start of a new season after the winter break? Well, I'm not, I'm not panicking uh, or anything like that. I mean, I've played two tournaments so far. I played the Australian Open where I thought I played OK, but I've lost to a very strong Chung in five sets. And, uh, you know, I lost in Rotterdam, which it's not, you know, history-wise, is not the best uh, tournament for me. So. You know, as you said, I played very well in Davis Cup. I had great matches so far as well. Um, but obviously, it's still it's still very young in the season. We even we didn't even have a Master Series yet. So um, you know, it's just two tournaments in, and uh, there's a lot more tennis to be played this year. Obviously, yeah, five tournaments last year in, in 2017, especially in the first half of the year. I mean, how difficult is it to find that sweet spot? And, and what do you think do you need to sort of rediscover that incredible form you showed last year? I think you don't think about it too much. I don't think you just play, you just go out there and compete for every single match. Um, you know, obviously winning more and more matches will give you confidence as well and I think, uh, you know, you just got to go match by match for now.